While sitting in my introduction to cybersecurity class this past week, the course instructor, the professor, was talking about one of the most core and fundamental concepts to cybersecurity, that being confidentiality, integrity, and availability, also known as the CIA triangle or CIA trad, I think, triad, I don't know. As I was listening to the professor, I thought it came to my mind, and I don't know why, but I was like, wait, why the heck have I not done a video on the CIA triangle, one of the most core concepts to cybersecurity when first starting out? Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Grant Collins. I'm a cybersecurity student. The CIA triangle is one of the most important concepts to security. For those of you who are new to this industry or those who are just interested in learning more about cybersecurity, this concept is one of the most important foundations to cybersecurity. But of course, there is always more to a book than its cover. That was a good one. Good analogy. I'm just going to briefly break down each one and talk about what each one involves. So we're going to go ahead and start off with confidentiality. Confidentiality is often associated as being what cybersecurity is at its core. Basically keeping a system private to ensure that only authorized people are able to view a certain asset or certain amount of data. Now some things obviously need confidentiality. You don't want your customer credit card data and personal information being leaked to the public when you have committed by law to not do this. With that comes heavy fines and some legal trouble. There's some really core questions you need to ask yourself when it comes to confidentiality. For instance, who should have access to this data? Is someone who is authorized to access data allowed to share this to a private third party? If you visit a web page and you click on that link, is the link that you clicked, is that your data? Is that yours or is that the web page owner? These are just some very basic questions you have to ask yourself when it comes to confidentiality. Oftentimes, failure of confidentiality resides in the following. An unauthorized person accessing a data item, unauthorized process or program accessing a data item, a person authorized to access some data but not all data and is able to look at that data that they weren't authorized to look at, and an unauthorized person learning about the existence of data somewhere. Now these are just a few things you have to keep in mind when it comes to confidentiality. And confidentiality is often associated, as I said, as being one of the only motivations behind cybersecurity. It's the only thing you need to focus about. But as I will explain here in a moment, there is much more than that, which transitions me to integrity. Integrity is the ability to ensure that an asset has only been modified by an authorized person. The moment an unauthorized entity modifies an asset, integrity has been lost. Integrity is a little bit harder to pin down than confidentiality, oftentimes going undetected for a while. You could say the same thing for confidentiality, but integrity is also something hard. Let's consider this replay attack scenario. So the famous Alice and Bob are communicating between each other but there is Oscar who sits in the middle, also known as man in the middle. Oscar has intercepted this connection between Bob and Alice. He's able to receive messages from both ends, read them, and then send them off to the person that it was intended for. In this scenario, confidentiality has obviously been lost, but so has integrity. Let's say Bob was giving instructions to Alice uh, to do certain something, certain direction or have or work on something, and Alice receives these directions, but it, they're modified by Oscar. Alice goes about and performs those directions, and she soon realizes that the directions that she followed directly affect this critical infrastructure. Now, this is a very extreme situation, but there is something to be considered when we're talking about both the integrity and the confidentiality, and they're equally important. Integrity is described as an authorized party accessing data, separation and protection of resources, and error detection and correction. Integrity is important to ensure that only authorized users have the ability to modify or change data. Now let's say we have a hardened system and we only allow an authorized person to uh, access and see that data, confidentiality, and modify that data, integrity. But what if we can't even access this data in the first place? This transitions me into my next point. It's your worst nightmare. You're turning on your PC, ready to go fire up those games, but 
your machine fails to receive power. Now, you know those game files and all your personal files are on that hard drive, but you, you can't open or see those because you have no way of accessing them because the hard drive won't power on. Availability applies to both data and services to ensure that an asset can only be used by an authorized user for an intended purpose. Availability ensures that we have timely responses to our requests, that resources are fairly allocated when we're trying to request something, and that many users can use one service simultaneously without any latency. Now, availability on the surface may not appear to be like a, as critical as integrity or confidentiality, but let's consider this scenario. So a big company like Amazon Web Services that hosts these massive cloud farms or servers, and uh, they have a massive customer base. Now, let's consider a common attack like a DDoS attack. If you don't know what a DDoS attack is, basically it's a whole bunch of machines targeting one server, one client, and this one client isn't able to uh, absorb or take in all of the requests from all of these, meaning that the, uh, the client or the server is overloaded and availability is lost. Now let's say this attack happens to all of the cloud services uh, that Amazon offers. This may not be a big deal, I and mean, let's say it only happens for five minutes. But then if we look a little bit deeper, we'll find that availability is so critical. Five minutes may not be that big of a deal, but think about how many companies rely on Amazon's cloud services for their ser for their particular service or their particular business. And think about critical infrastructure like a hospital that uses cloud services or uh, big, huge industrial farms, or it can be anything. Not only that, but Amazon would lose millions of dollars within the span of five minutes. And as they say, time is money. So if you lose five minutes, you're going to lose a ton of money which then you lose reputation. People are gonna realize in this mock scenario that Amazon isn't as reliable as some other cloud service. And so Amazon's reputation is ruined. The, the CIA triangle is one of the most important concepts uh, when we're thinking about cybersecurity. It's one of the big cores you wanna think about. Of course, there's other terms you need to think about uh, like authorization and non-repudiation, but the first few things you need to learn about or take into consideration is the CIA triangle, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. I challenge you today to go look into more of what the CIA triangle does or some different examples. So that is it for today's video. I got my video idea from my professor. Thank you, professor. Have a good day.